Okay, so we're going to work on balance. So it's important to be balanced, but we can also work on balances. And balances have an aesthetic quality. They're nice to look at, but also uh, they're good in terms of understanding coordination and working with partners. So I'd like one of you in pairs to go on all fours and find a very good base. Rather like this feeling of being grounded, this sense of being grounded on all fours. So just pair up and one of you be a strong base. So this is really solid and firm. The arms are in a line here beneath the shoulders so that she's using her skeletal frame rather than the muscles. And I'm just going to rest my stomach here. Just watch first of all. And I'm going to use my hands to counterbalance. What's important is that I'm not going to tuck my head under, which goes into a roll, but I'm just going to look, lift up and find a point of balance. So the first thing is to rest your stomach, feel this good contact here, and then come to this point. If you do start to tip over, just tuck the head under and roll out. OK, should we try? Yeah, find a safer space, that's fine. Thank you. Yeah, nice strong base. Stomach on. Use those hands to... That's it, and then kick up into that balance. That's it, hands are behind. And kick up. That's it, look at the floor. Yeah, look up, that's it. Good, find that point where you're tipping over and you're just controlling it with the hands. Very good, Emma. Yeah. Mara, if I let go, can you hold it? Yeah, so keep looking up, Olaf, as much as you, that's it. Now kick up and find that, that's it. Find that point of balance. <laughs> Lovely. Can you feel it? Yeah. And bend your knees as you come back down. Yes, yeah, swap if you wish. You stay on, Mara. So that's it. Find, look up and I want you to kick up. Yeah, solid. That's it. And kick up. Yeah, arch your back. Find that point of almost falling over. Just that point of balance. Good. Lovely. And then bend your knees as you come back down. Okay, and come back down. That's come back down. Luxury balance is an exercise using the idea of balance, which allows the students to work autonomously with luxury balances, positions, and then to extend those into movement to begin to create a short movement sequence. So it allows them to start to improvise, but from a very structured starting point of these ABC of luxury balances. And as you start to move these, you start to have to make decisions about the direction, about the rhythm, the speed with which you go into a movement or come out of a movement, where you place it in space, and where your audience is perhaps, um, associations and feelings that arise from the balances you've chosen and the movement between, and how those movements travel in space, how you go from A to B to C, but passing through different movements and different uh, parts of the studio space as you progress. So it's a really good improvisatory exercise. So I think what's really clear is that even though it's about these extreme points, how you get from one point to the next is as important as those extremities. And really finding the link between that and that, or that and that, is as important. That you don't just forget about this bit. It's not just teleological and target-oriented. So actually how you get from A to B to C and then C, B, A, and I think just really exploring those transition points. And what I'd like you to just do now is just spend a bit of time just thinking on your feet about how you might go from one to the other using the dynamics. So if this is your luxury balance, you might actually extend that. Where does the luxury balance take you? Uh, I was here and then uh, I kind of shifted here, so I kind of went with it. Shimmy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. shimmy. I mean, it could be that. that Actually, you work totally with the opposite. Yeah. But, you know, that's you're using that to send you the other direction. And then the other option is 
you're just going to be, and then actually go back into C. Or you're just going to be, and then you actually go back in. You're going to be, you go back to C. And then you suddenly are in B, and you're in B, and you're in B, and you're repeating B, and then you go back into C. And then you, at what point are you in it? And what point are you halfway? And at what point are you in B and C? If you were to start this sequence, which you're creating, how would you begin? Would you begin in neutral? Or would you begin in C? Or would you begin in A? Would you begin in B? What's a good starting point? And is your A, whatever it is, you might actually begin your A here. And then your A is here. And then your A is here. So actually, where do you begin in relation to the audience? Are you presenting it or are you holding something back? Are you beginning with your C? What feels like a good place to begin this? So you're just thinking about the dramaturgy of this, how you would begin it and where you might even end it as well. Would you end in a dynamic balance? And the rhythm and shape of it, I think it's quite useful to think over this three to four minute sequence. Do you start here, a peak of activity, and then come down, come down, come down, and then find kind of repetition here on this line and then up again and then down or do you start slowly and build up so you're building up and then the momentum suddenly takes you b b b b c c b c b c b c b c a a a a a a b b b b b b b b c b b c so if you had to kind of draw it how would you draw this so just think about that as you're constructing this, but the moment you're still looking just for where's the travel in this? How would I get from one to the other? But also thinking, bear in mind, and just explore those different things for a minute, yeah? That's it, keep exploring it, Antonio, yeah. Can you travel on that? Yeah. Can you travel like that, Antonio? Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's it. Turn it in space, Antonio. That's it. Turn it in space. It's still the same balance, but you're changing it in the space. Good. Good, Mara. Yeah. make sure you keep hold of the luxury balances that they're clear signposts in this movement yeah any thoughts observations it, it becomes very unpredictable as in yeah when you're going from one and then changing into another but then suddenly this one comes yeah in. and also uh, I keep holding my breath yeah so I kept very became very aware of just having this like nice breathing and going yeah. from one and breathing out into exactly the yeah so you kind of get a more smooth transition. Why is it unpredictable? Because of the nature of the, the balance yeah, is yeah, unstable. Yeah. yeah. And because yeah. they're so like, because there, there might be a hand here and here and it yeah. might be directing in two different yeah. uh, directions. Yeah. And yeah. You're going here, but then something's yeah. going up here. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots to work out, lots to think about in it. Yeah. yeah.